Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And what I would like to do today is explain to you the concept of check-in and check-out in SharePoint. Now, uh, check-in and check-out is a pretty interesting feature. It's been around uh, for a while in SharePoint. And in, it, to be honest, in my opinion, uh, it is becoming less and less relevant uh, in modern SharePoint uh, with modern features, uh, modern uh, collaboration features that we have. Uh, in SharePoint Online and Office 365. But um, what I would like to do is uh, nevertheless explain to you, you know, what the feature is all about and uh, then you make a decision whether uh, it's useful uh, to your particular uh, use cases. So let me explain to you what check-in and check-out feature is all about first. Um, some time ago in one of my uh, previous videos, I actually explained the concept of co-authoring. If you recall, co-authoring was all about collaborating and multiple people co-authoring or working or editing the, the, the same document at the same time in real time. Uh, check out, check in, check out is the opposite, is totally the opposite of co-authoring. It's for, for those situations where you really do not want to collaborate with anyone else uh, in the organization. Essentially what you do when you check out a document, you lock the document to yourself only and nobody else can make any changes to the document while you're working on it. Now, everyone else can still access the document in uh, whatever the latest version of the document is in read-only mode, but nobody can make any changes. Nobody can mess with the document until two things happen, until you save the changes back to SharePoint, and most importantly, until you release the lock or check in um, your changes back to SharePoint. All right, so that's kind of the concept of of uh, check-in, uh, check-out. Uh, let me demonstrate this to you, how it works. So I have a few documents here. Uh, once again, you know, if I, if, I, if I really wanted to collaborate with others, uh, I would just, you know, open the document in uh, Word Online or whatever, um, um, you know, um, the, the, the native app and just collaborate. And of course, with that, I will get all the co-authoring features by default. Um, so by default, SharePoint is set up for uh, collaboration and co-authoring. But once again, not on this case. In this case, let's pretend this is a very important document. I really don't want anyone uh, uh, to mess with it until, you know, until uh, I, I make my changes. So I'm going to check it out. Right click. Remember, right click is how you access all the different file commands. And um, one of the options you see it's even hidden. It's not even on the, you know, on the on the first screen. You have to kind of to go more and then you would see check out. All right, so you check it out. Perfect. Now what happens is it's it's checked out the document and it put this little green arrow over the document and if that means it's the document is checked out and if you hover hover over the uh, little arrow, uh, you will even see who the document is checked out. So in this case, it's me. And by the way, um, uh, recently Microsoft announced they are going to change some of the icons and images, you know, for this icon. So uh, if you uh, if you watch this video, um, you know, long after it has been recorded, uh, you probably will see a little bit different um, uh, check and check out uh, icons. But this is how it is as of the recording of this video. So once again, the document is checked out. So I'm the only one right now who can make changes uh, to the document, no one else. Everyone else can still access the document. When they click on it, they will get, uh, they will be able to open whatever the latest version of the document is in read-only mode. Nobody can make changes until I, I release the log, until I check it back in. So let me make the changes um, and I can, you know, obviously make them in, in, in Word, <coughs> so, uh, sorry about that, in Word Online or native app. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Let's do it in uh, the native app. Perfect. So um, here we go. Making some changes. Perfect. All right. Now, if this was Word Online, right, uh, my changes would be saved automatically. Um, in this case, with my native app, um, I didn't. I do not have that auto save enabled, so I have to save the changes back. So it's saving it back to SharePoint. So my changes at least are not lost, but still nobody else can can make any changes to the document, right? Uh, why? Because I did not check the document back in, all right? And I can actually, there are two ways I can check in the document. I can either 
you know, if, when I am all set and done, I can right click here and go to more again. And you see, I have the options. First of all, I can either discard checkout, uh, which means essentially that forget about everything that has ha happened. Uh, discard checkout means pretty much, you know, go back to original state, forget about all the changes I made, or I can check it in from here. All right. All right, another, another way for you uh, to check it in, and it only works when you open the documents in native app. Uh, it does not work in, uh, you know, when, when you open the document in, in the browser online, right? But because I opened it in native app, look what happens as I exit the document. It's actually smart enough to tell me, Greg, others will not be able to see your changes until you check it back in. Do you want to do it? Sure. And we can supply some check-in comments. All right, here we go, and click OK. Once again, you only get this, um, you know, pop up and everything when you when you exit the native app, whether it's Word or Excel. Uh, you do not get this in, in in with Word or Excel online. You have to do it, you know, check it in manually. Here we go. Perfect. Let's see what happened. The um, green arrow is gone because I checked in the document, and now now. Everyone else can enjoy my changes. Everyone else can uh, access the document and make changes because I pretty much released the log. All right. And if we right click, uh, let me show you the version history. I uh, remember those uh, check in comments I supplied when I checked in the document. Here we go. You see, so any, uh, this is what the, if you ever wondered what this comments, you know, field, um, you know, the, the field is for, this is when you check out, check out and check in the documents, you know, back into SharePoint. You can supply some check-in comments and pretty much advise everyone what, you know, kind of changes you made. Now, as I said in the beginning, so that's what pretty much check-in, check-out is all about. Uh, there is not much to it. Uh, um, in the old days, uh, with all the versions of SharePoint, this used to be a pretty popular feature. Um, and one of the reasons was because we really did not have co-authoring uh, enabled um, you know, in SharePoint, we really did not have those nice collaboration features that we have now. But in my opinion, to be honest, I don't think check-in, check-out is relevant anymore. Um, you know, first of all, with version history, if, if somebody does mess up the document with version history, uh, you can always come back in history and restore a previous version. I actually covered that in one of my earlier videos. And with co-authoring, right, I mean, if you happen to be in the document and somebody else opens the document, uh, at the same time, you, you will also see the presence of that individual and pretty much you will see the changes happening live uh, on the screen. Uh, so that's just another way for you to kind of control, um, you know, control um, the changes to the, to the document. Um, so, but look, you know, there are exceptions to everything in this life. So um, if you find this feature useful, by all means, you know, use it. Um, one thing to be aware of, right, if you check out a document and then go on vacation, um, then, you know, somebody, your admin, you know, uh, needs to check in the document on your behalf because while you're away, unfortunately, nobody else will be able to, to uh, make any changes to the document, um, um, you know, the, while, while you have checked it, checked it out, all right? So just, just be aware of that uh, as you check in, check out documents, uh, but, you know, hopefully uh, you will find good use for this particular feature. All right, so that's all I wanted to cover today, folks. Thank you very much for your uh, for your attention, and um, I hope to see you again soon on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.